Hello everyone, I'm Miss Carrie here at the New Jersey State Museum. Welcome to Small Explorers. Small Explorers, I'm back in Pretty Big Things today to talk about another important piece of New Jersey transportation history. Today, we're gonna talk about trains. Small Explorers, today I have two sign language signs for you. Our first sign is for train. You're going to hold up two fingers on each hand, make little bunny ears, and then you're going to rub one set of bunny ears over the other, and this is the sign for train. It's kind of like this is the track, and this is the train, and the train is running up and down the track. Train. One more time, nice and slow. Two sets of bunny ears. Train. Our second sign is the sign for railroad. For this sign, you're going to take your sign for train and then use your pointer fingers to point away from you to make the tracks. Railroad. Railroad. One more time, nice and slow. Railroad. Good job. Small explorers, take a close look at the objects in this case. What do you think they are? And what might they be used for around a train or a railroad? Can you take a guess? These are actually cross sections of different types of railroad tracks. So if you're going to imagine a railroad track, that long piece of metal that the train wheels run on, if you were to cut a little piece out of that and turn it sideways, this is what you would get. These are called T-rails. And these are T-rails from different types and sizes of track for different types and sizes of trains to run on. These were invented in 1830 by a man named Robert Stevens and they became the type of track that were used for railroads all over the world. He used this design for, for track for his own railroad, the Camden Amboy Railroad, which was the first American railroad to connect two cities here in the United States. It could take people from New York to Philadelphia in nine hours. Do any of you or your family take the train today? How long does it take to get from New York to Philadelphia on a train now? A lot less time. But back then, if you were to take a stagecoach that was pulled by horses from New York to Philadelphia, it might take you three days. So the train was a lot faster. Small explorers, as trains move about New Jersey today, the engineer, the person driving the train, uses whistle signals to communicate what he, what he needs or where he's going. If you hear one long blast, it means the train has stopped, the, bra the brakes are applied. If you hear two long blasts, it means he's released the brakes and the train is moving forward. If the train is stopped and you hear three short blasts, the train's gonna start backing up. Or if you're near a public railroad crossing, the gates are down, the lights are flashing red, and you hear
it means the train is approaching the crossing and everybody needs to stay off the tracks. That's two long blasts, a short and another long. And if you see the railroad warnings, uh, warning barriers start to come down and the lights start flashing, stay off the tracks and stay back away from the crossing because there's a train coming. Never ever play on railroad tracks. Okay, explorers. So for today, I have a game for our toddlers to play with their siblings and caregivers. For this game, all you need is a long, long piece of ribbon or a big piece of yarn and your floor. You're gonna unroll your ribbon or your piece of yarn all along the floor and make your own track. So I only have one big piece of ribbon, so I made one track. I'm gonna be a monorail today. A monorail runs on one track. So one person in the house is gonna unroll the ribbon around the house and make the railroad. And then our toddlers and our siblings, if they are in, you know, if you have siblings, are going to put your engineer hat on and you're gonna follow the track and pretend you're a train. This is even better if you have a train whistle, but if you don't, you can pretend. Woot woot! So have fun with this and take turns creating different tracks around the house and following them like our railroad. Oop. End of the line. <laughs>